Hello and welcome to the first video of Loop Extreme, the music app from Extremely Nice Apps. Today I'm going to just take you through the basics of Loop Extreme to show you the pads, how to set sounds up, how to configure the modes and take you through the parameters for each pad. Okay, this project here, I've got 15 sounds loaded and I'll just take you through the three modes. The first mode is single shot which really triggers the sound every time you press the pad, which is sort of conventional way of triggering the sounds. Then we've got uh, play while touch, where the sound will continue to play as long as I hold down the pad. As soon as I release the pad, the sound will stop. The third mode is loop mode, which is handy for drum loops. Let me turn that echo off. That's better. With the loop mode, the sound will just keep playing in the loop. I don't have to keep re-triggering it, so it can just be left there until I touch it and it will go off again. Now anything that's set up for loop mode will just stay in sync with all the other loops. So I can bring things in and out whenever I want. Okay, to set the sounds up, you press edit pad, touch the pad you want to edit that's then highlighted here in the top mini pads. You can select any one of these pads to change its settings and you'll see the screen updates to reflect the settings for that pad. So for example if I want to edit that one I can alter its volume, alter its uh, pan stereo position We've also got a filter here, the moment it's off, if I turn that on, we're now in low pass mode, which will cut all the high frequencies and allow the low frequencies through. And go to high pass, which will cut the low frequencies and allow the high ones through. And of course you can just turn it off. This slider here is the echo send for the pad. If I hit settings, that takes me to the global settings for echo. I can alter the delay here. I can alter the feedback. And the master is the master output level from the echo. Okay, I'll just turn it off for a second. Okay. Now, the three buttons at the top are the three different modes that you can set for the sound, and you'll notice that the, the icon will change for each of those to show you what mode that pad is set to. So the simplest one, again, is single shot mode. It will trigger the sound from the beginning and it will play through to the end, which is more the conventional way of triggering what well, you have to trigger on the downbeat. But with Loop Extreme you don't need to do that, you just put it into loop mode and it will just play until you turn it off again. And again, touch mode. Quite useful for scratching loop sounds. Let's put that back to loop. Okay. Uh, so what I've got a 15 sounds set on here. So if I play... I think you get the idea. I mean, that's all played in real time, which is ideal for live performance. All those pad presses can be recorded using the built-in pattern sequencer, but we'll cover that in a, another tutorial. I think that wraps it up for this first one. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.